Hi, I'm Margaret from Margaret's Crafts. I wanted to share with you my knitting and crocheting that I've done over the past few months. Uh, I know I'm a little late, but summertime was a little crazy. And uh, seems like every time I went to record, something else was going on. So everything got really pushed back. And I didn't have that much to share with you, but uh, the little bit that I do have, uh, I'm going to show you now. Uh, I'm going to start off with my finished objects. Uh, my first finished object is a pair of socks. And they are based off of the um, Simple Skype socks by Adrienne Koo. And the yarn that I'm that I used was Peyton's Croy uh, socks TX in Cascade colors, and I used the US two or 2.75 millimeters. Uh, and both socks are done now. I think one was done, and the other one was down to here. For some reason, these are the socks that took me the longest socks to make. I don't know. If, I've made him socks before. He has about three or four pair of socks um, but for some reason these socks just took me forever and that's the um, the socks I use uh, basically it's a rib sock I just did a rib sock and uh, for him I use 88 stitches because he has a very wide foot and he also has a very long foot so I did like an inch and a half of the cuff then I did a total of five inches from the uh, cuff to where I started the heel and then I did the fish lips kiss heel and then went on down the foot and I used the uh, pattern for the uh, Hermione's everyday socks for my toes and I take it down to 14 stitches on mine and these are all done. And uh, I've never had to use it before. Maybe because I made him a longer cuff, the five-inch cuff. But the um, it took longer. It took more yarn. I had to use. I had to go out and buy another. I had. Uh, it took more yarn with this one. Usually, I'll do. Uh, I can get one sock and have a little bit left over. Well, this time that didn't work. It took more yarn, uh, I think because I made a longer cuff than I usually make. I think I usually make a four-inch cuff, and this time I made a five-inch cuff. And um, I just didn't get, I had to uh, cut into the, uh, I had to go get a new ball. And luckily with this, with this uh, yarn, the, the repeats are so subtle that you, you can't really tell where I had to uh, do a new ball. I think I had to start down in here somewhere. It was before the toe. But those are my socks. And it's just a nice rib sock with the fish lips kiss heel. So those are done. Those are his Christmas socks. I started making them socks every year for Christmas. Well, last year was, no, year before was my first year. Then last year, and then this is their this year socks. The next item I have uh, is a sweater that I made my husband. And it is uh, the flax sweater by Tin Can Knits. And I used the uh, loops and thread in black. And I used a US 6 or 4.0 millimeter or and a US 8 5.0 millimeter. I'm going to zoom it out. And it is all done. And he's worn it. I think last time I showed it to you, I was around about here on the body.
I was about down to here on the body. Uh, I only have, I didn't have, this sleeve wasn't in, and this sleeve was about down to here. So I did the rest of this sleeve. I did the rest of the body with the ribbing, and I picked up and did the whole other sleeve. Okay. Now, when I first gave it to him, he was a little, I'm like, oh boy, I made something and he's not, he'll wear it because I made it for him because that's how he is. Well, then yesterday it was uh, a little cool here and uh, he, oh, that was the day before yesterday and uh, the nights get a little cooler and he wanted to type on the computer or work on the computer and he usually puts up. Uh, he has a hoodie, but the sleeves are a little bit baggy and everything on his hoodie, so he doesn't like to do that when he's working on the computer. So he says, where is that sweater you made me? I want to try it out. So he got the sweater, put it on, and he loved it because the, the sweater kind of like fits his arms really nice. They're not too tight, but they don't have that bag in them like his hoodie does. And he loves it. He's like his back was cold and everything. And he put the sweater on. It fit perfectly. And he was able to use it. So I told him I was so happy that he actually, you know, he, he really liked the sweater. So he gets another one. So that's the sweater. And that's the pattern. It hasn't even been washed. I was saving it to show... And I had to pull out my stitch markers to show where I was so that he could put it on. But now I'm going to go ahead and give it a bath. And it is all acrylic. I like to make their um, like their hats and stuff like that out of acrylic. And then the sweater like this that, you know, that he'll just throw on and throw off so that we can throw it in the wash machine. So I'm going to go ahead and throw it in the wash machine and give it a nice wash. It's already soft. The loops and thread seems like it's a nice soft acrylic. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a bath and uh, have it all ready for him when he needs it again. Hi, I'm coming back because uh, for some reason the last half of that video was corrupted so I'm showing you uh, from the end of that video to up to now. <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, I have a couple more finishes. I have two. And I have two. One I made uh, longer than the other one. And uh, I added two more stitches onto this one. These are the... Uh, the long beanies. And they're by Wooly Warm Head. And this one is made with two extra stitches added in. Uh, and the, the correct length. This is made with the... Uh, the correct amount of stitches, but a um, a inch shorter, because uh, my son's heads are both uh, different sizes. And the yarn that I use for this is some that I had picked up, and I'll show you that in my goodies. This is the Burnett Wooly Up. Uh, it says bulky, but when you look at the back, it's super bulky. And I have both of those done in black. And that was all my whip, uh, my, my finishes. Now for my whips. Uh, I have a striped sock. It is, uh, this is a pattern that I'm just make, I just made up. I just did uh, knit four purl four all the way around and then for five rows and then the next five rows is just resting five knit rows and it comes out almost like a a wavy look to it 
So I have one sock done, and the other sock I have the leg done, I have the uh, heel in, and I'm starting down the foot. And the heel that I use is the Fish Lips Kiss heel, because that's my favorite heel. And I just use the, uh, the directions for the Hermani Everyday Socks for the toe until I get down to 14 stitches. Uh, this is stitched on the Peyton's Poi Socks in the Blue Stripes. So I'll finish working on this and have that one done. Uh, my next whip... is my blanket uh, I haven't worked on it that much more but that's what I have done so far I think the last time I showed it I was down to here now I'm up to there I started in the next uh, doing the uh, repeats so this is called the Basket Weave Diamond Throw, and by Bonnie Baker. And I use the Red Heart with Love. I use the Water Lily, uh, the Water Lily, and the Lettuce. And it's just repeating. I got uh, that set done, and then I'll move on to another one of these sets, and then this one, and then that'll be it. Then I'll put the, the edgings on it. Now that it's cool enough now, I'll start working on it again. It's just hot to work on it in the summertime. And another item that I'm working on is a, a hot water bottle cover. And it's the Rachel's uh, ISBN cable hot water bottle cover. And this is where I'm at on that one. This is a new start. It's just the cable going up the middle. Then you're going to close off the bottom. And the thread that I'm using, the yarn that I'm using is Premier's Deborah Norville's Everyday Soft Worsted in the Antique Lavender. Ooh, and I just dropped the stitch. Drop two stitches. And not very far on that. I just pick this up when I'm tired of doing anything else. Then I'll work on it a little bit more. Uh, this is called, you can't see anything because I just, I have like two rounds done on it. This is called, it's going to be the Silk and Surrey Hat. And it's by Sky Blue. Got sky blue alpacas and the yarn that I'm using on this one is the uh, Peyton's uh, silk bamboo which is seventy percent bamboo and thirty percent silk so I, I just got started on that you can't even see what it is yet and that's all of my whips that I have. Now for the things that I've purchased. Uh, I did purchase some more uh, tips to go with my uh, Chagu set. And I also found at a local store here <coughs> called Marks. They had, I had showed you this before, the Burnett. Uh, 
Burnett Wool Up Bulky, but it is a super bulky thread, and it's 80% acrylic, 20% wool, and these were uh, at their store for $1.99. So I have it, and I bought two blacks, two denim blues, And two browns. Yep, just brown. So I have those. Then at the same store, they had my other brown. <clears throat> uh, they had the Peyton's Classic Wool Worsted, and it is 100% wool, and these were $179. So I have four in the uh, Deep Olive, four in the Royal Blue, Uh, four in the yellow. And I picked up six of these when I was out of town. I went to a different Marks when I was in Cleveland. And I bought, picked up six of the Common Variegate. And then when I was in Joann's, they had had a sale. And these were $3.99. I think the bag was $3.99. You know, one of those uh, mix and match bags. And it's pinks and peaches. And they were $3.99. And then they had a 20% off coupon off of the bag, too. And that's all my woolly goodies that I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Bye.